Yes. All right, this is Joe at Pecan Lane. I want to talk about some grafting. I'm going to do two videos here. Um, first of which, I want to talk a little bit about bark slip. So this is the uh, top of a pecan tree that we have peeled off. And bark slip is when this bark will easily peel back. And so this is a prerequisite for doing most varieties of pecan grafting. So this is a nicely well slipping bark. Okay. So I've chosen a tree here. This is a, a previous failed graft. We're going to do a Texas inlay bark graft. Probably called American method on some other videos. So we'll cut that off. And then I'm going to choose a piece of scion wood here. And so we'll get this piece of scion wood on. I want to look, and I've got a little bit of a flatter area here. So we'll make a cut into the bark. Off the bottom. I'm going to use my knife to make a nice cut through down to the pith some. There we've got pith and then a nice little wedge here at the bottom. So I've got a wedge. I'm going to line that up with that original cut. Find where that wood should lay. And then I'm going to peel back that bark. Slide that in for hopefully as much cambium connection as possible. We do see a little bit there. I probably could have made that larger, but I think that the base is good. So at this point, the American method takes duct tape around here. We'll get more. That's just to hold that in there. So that's nicely protected. I go overboard on my grafts because not all of them have done well. I'm going to wrap here with tin foil. Then I get a sandwich bag. Cut a little hole in the corner. Put that in over the top. I use electrical tape here because this will help seal that off real nicely. And I wrap this bag all around. I will put some tape. That plastic bag will help seal in moisture as things heal up. Then, I want to protect moisture loss out the top. And so I put some shellac on there. So that there is the American method of inlay bark grafting of pecan.